Hi, it's Tana again. How are you today? We're going to look at another video together. This video is called The Calming of the Storm and the story is found in Matthew chapter 8, Mark chapter 4, and Luke chapter 8. When it's repeated so many times, you know how important it is, right? Our Bible verse for today is Psalm 121 verse 2. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Praise God. We're going to watch the video now and be sure to listen again really well so you can get those Bible books and so that you can just show yourself what a good listener you are. We'll watch the video and I'll see you in a few minutes. Luke 8. Jesus not only healed the sick and the possessed, but he also controlled the forces of nature. One day, he and his disciples were sailing to the other side of the lake. Jesus lay sleeping when a dreadful storm rose up. The winds howled and huge waves tossed the boat dangerously. The disciples were terrified. They woke Jesus up and begged him to save them. Mister, wake up, we're all going to drown. Jesus stood up calmly and commanded the winds and waves to be still. Be still. And at once, all was calm. Who is this man? Even the winds and waves obey him. Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Hi again. That is such a good video and a good lesson. I'm so glad you're here with me to enjoy it and visually see it and hear it. I do have questions for you. Let's go over them together. First question. Jesus slept in the boat during a dreadful storm. Is that true or false? You're right, you're right, it's true. Question two. Jesus told the wind and the waves to be still at once and the lake was calm. True or false? You're right again. Yes, it's true. Number three. The boat sank in the storm. Is that true or is that false? False. Jesus calmed the storm, so the boat did not sink. Number four. Even the winds and waves obey Jesus. Really? Is that true or is that false? It's true. According to our Bible, it is true. It happened that way. Let us repeat today's verse at this time. Again, Psalm 12, verses 1 and I'm sorry, Psalm 121, should have my glasses on, I guess. Verse two, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. Be sure to click on the link so that you can answer these questions and you can earn your Bible bucks. And it's been fun and a pleasure to be with you during this time of, of our learning about Jesus and watching the video. And we're going to end in prayer. Again, fold your hands and bow your heads. Heavenly Father, may we have faith in you at our times of trouble. We trust you, Lord, for you command even the wind and waves to calm a storm. Thank you, Lord. Amen.